No one really listens to the daily, but not so commonly heard struggles of acting majors, and it's so natural to see actors on stage embodying a character's emotions and concerns, but we rarely look behind the mask and the character to consider an actor's true thoughts and their own life aspirations as a human being. My name is Jessie Longest. I'm a theater BA acting student at the University of Southern California, and I am from Spirit Lake, Iowa originally and I aspire to work in the movies one day. I started out doing these little like community theater plays through this company called Prairie Fire Children's Theater. My eighth grade year, there's this tradition of doing the eighth grade musical at my school. So I was the fairy godmother in that. And that was kind of a role that like made me very excited about acting and made me realize like, oh, I really, really enjoy doing this. But at that point, I wasn't entirely sure like, oh, this is something I would do in college or for the rest of my life. That idea hadn't hit yet, but I knew that it was something I really loved. So then going into high school, I definitely started acting more. Um, at my high school, we don't have a super strong or structured drama program. We have a really strong music program that does a fall musical each year. And then we also have like show choir, vocal jazz, things like that, regular choir. So I performed in all of those choirs um, throughout my time in high school and I did all of the musicals. Cora is this gothic ghost character that I've loved playing the most because it was a character that was in a short film that my friends and I wrote and directed. And I love that character just because of what it means to me as a symbol in my life and getting to create things with my best friends. I think everyone knows how junior year feels. You have to like decide where am I going to school? What am I going to do? What am I going to study? Like basically what is the rest of my life going to look like even though nobody ever knows that answer but you're supposed to think about it. And at that point I was like, I wanna actually try and pursue acting even though the thought terrified me and I wasn't entirely sure that that was something I could do or how everything would work out. I knew that there was nothing else I wanted to do, so I was going to try to do everything I could to make it happen. Nothing is guaranteed in this profession and nothing is guaranteed in life, but it's so hard when you're in something and you love it so much and want something so bad for yourself, but there's still the fear that nothing will happen for you. My family is middle class and it was a huge, huge collective decision to have me come out here and do the major that I'm doing and spend that money and make the sacrifices that we've all made. There's still a chance that nothing could come from it. Um, I just don't know what the future holds or where things will go and the uncertainty is insane. I often like look at other people in my major and think they're doing so many more projects or shows or clubs than me. Why aren't I trying to achieve that too? I am a believer that everything happens for a reason. So when I think about the uncertainty of the future or the sacrifices that my family has made to have me here, I just remember that I get to do what I love every day. And that's what's so important. And I know that no matter where it leads, like as long as I'm pursuing what I love, I'll be okay no matter what. Acting is the art of empathy and human emotion, and it truly is the act of trying to understand another person and all of the good and bad of that person and then emulating them on screen or on stage and trying your best to do justice to that person, whether they're real or imaginary. When you're doing character work or when, even when you're acting and doing the performance itself, the whole point is that you're trying to understand another person and emulate them and all of the good and bad parts about them. And I think that if more people could understand how to implement that within their lives, like the world could be a much better place. Recently, I was able to work on an independent film as an extra and an intern. I actually got to be a second assistant director on a couple of the days, which was very fun. The film was filmed in my hometown, but it actually premiered in LA. I got to go to the premiere for that, and that was a night that was so special to me because my parents were there, because they were already coming out to LA for family weekend. And in that moment, I knew, like, this is what I want to do. It's so special to get to see something that you've worked hard on on a screen and have other people enjoy it and react to it. But no matter what happens throughout my future, like, I could have all these insane goals of, like, oh, I want to act in this many movies, I want to direct, I want to, like, win an Oscar, whatever. Like, all of that would be cool. 
don't get me wrong, but I know I'm doing what I love and that I'm truly doing what I'm meant to be doing and that I'm at a place that I'm meant to be at. And as long as I can ma maintain that feeling throughout my life, I think that's what's important to me. And I know that that won't be easy and that there will be bumps in the road and I won't always feel that sense of security, but I think as long as I'm happy and doing what I love every day, then that's all that matters for my future. <laughs>